like them apples. Okay, I've got a F-25 outboard on my uh, Lund 16-foot boat. It's a, it's a Mr. Pike boat. And this, this outboard does a pretty good job of powering the, powering the boat. But I noticed, I've owned it for probably six years now, seven years. And I noticed it was down on power ever since I put it in the boat. Never really understood why. I always thought it was really, ah, it's a 25 horsepower maybe. Just boat's a little too heavy. Um, so to get more power, I tried experimenting with props. I went from the factory 11 and a quarter down to a nine inch to see if I can get the RPM up. Um, but the motor still wouldn't really respond. It would, it would go up a little bit more in RPM, but not a whole lot. Um, then I settled on a 10 inch prop, gave me a, a few more hundred, uh, RPM and maybe a mile or two an hour. But what I realized one day I was running on the lake and I pulled the cowl off. The RPM went up on the boat from about 4,700 to, let's say, 5,000, 5,100 RPM. So I'm like, what the heck's going on? So then I realized that the cowling and the intake for the boat was very restrictive. When I pulled the cover off the cowl, when the engine was running, I noticed, I never paid attention before, that the air intake it's tiny and it's very narrow and restricted. You look at that, look at that. It's about an inch in diameter. So the air's gotta come in through here. It's gotta come around here. Comes in through the top of the, uh, comes into the top of the cowl here. So it comes around. So air doesn't have a straight shot. It's gotta come in through the back of the motor. You see that? So what I did was I removed that. And if you notice, how restricted this thing is, super, 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 super restrictive. I even broke it and broke it apart so you can see what it looks like inside. It's really choked off and it's got a crankcase vent. It kind of sucks, sucks things, uh, the oil into there, but it's, it restricts the whole intake. Without everything, you can see what it's supposed to look like. 38 millimeters, about an inch and a half. So what I did was I modified the intake now. So I use an inch and a half tube. So now look at the uh, idea the throttle body is smaller than the intake, which is fine. There's a little step in there. It's not a perfect laminar flow, but I'm not worried about that at all. So now I basically shorten this intake a bit because if it's too long, you'll actually, the cowling itself will block the airflow. So Shorten it as far as I could go back. Um, and now the air is able to, to be pulled in from the engine cowling uh, through here, as well as through this side all the way around like it was originally designed. Originally designed to go all the way around. Another point of restriction was the uh, inlet for the cowling. I went ahead and made a big old window here so the engine can breathe as much air as it can through the ports. So it's got the side vent and the side cowl, and then it has the rear. So now, um, so now it actually will um, breathe very well. So now it'll breathe very well, if you look at that. So I've been running this thing for about a year now, and my water, my mile an hour on the water went from 16 miles an hour to about 23 miles an hour at the same altitude at 4,200 feet. So that's pretty good. That's a huge jump. So it made this motor uh, really come alive. So it's, 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 I recommend doing this. Now you might say, well, how come you don't have a screen on the front? What happens if something goes in there, uh, falls in? Well, nothing should fall off and go in. Uh, there's really nothing in there that can go down the intake. That's a chance I'm willing to take. Um, for better airflow. The cowl is so tight in there that really nothing can get in there. Can't even get, you can't get gravel or anything from the back. It's just not possible. So, and I don't know how you could suck gravel upwards. If you have an F-25 and you feel it's down on power, it takes a while to get on plane. Um, look at the RPM on the motor. You should be getting somewhere in the, if you're propped correctly, in the 50, um, 957 to 5900 RPM. 
you want one of these, you're not going to be able to buy it, so send me a message and I can probably make a copy of it for you. Thanks for watching.